today we're going to talk about how to make how to pan and zoom in canva so how to make a video a bit like this this is canva tips for authors and i'm jeev i write romantic fiction and women's fiction as jeevani charika and i'm here to help authors learn how to use canva better for their book marketing if you are an author who would like to talk to other authors about canva come and join the facebook group it is free and the link is in the description right so let's go so we're going to start with a video file I'm starting with a landscape format video, but uh, you could just as easily use the portrait format if you want to make a video for TikTok uh, or Instagram. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna find a photo of some shelves. Much to my eternal shame, I used aesthetic shelves as a search term. And I found, where did I find it? Let's go see what I recently used. I found this one, which is quite a nice, aesthetically pleasing set of shelves. Okay. So we're going to start with that. And then we are going to add some book covers. So I'm going to select all three of these. Okay, well, fine. Select all three of them, come on. And shrink them to a size that might work. Let's drop this back into this picture here. Okay. And position backwards to the back. Right. Do they need to be smaller? They probably do. Okay. So I'm going to put that one there, that one there, and that one up there. And we can't really see what we're doing, so let's go to 10%. Okay, does it all fit? We need to bring this one down a bit. Or maybe make it smaller. Okay, not sure what happened there, but okay, right. So let's delete that page, right. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to get the camera, as it were, to zoom into here and then zoom back out again. So let's duplicate the page. Let's select all four elements that are on the page and group them together. Okay, so now they should all scale at the same amount. And let's, I'm gonna shrink it back down again and zoom in. So we make it, make everything bigger. Okay, that's the sort of size we want. And then let's select those two. Duplicate two pages, so we go back there, and now this one, we move to the next book, and we need a little bit of space to the side so that we can add some text later, and then we do the same again, duplicate two pages, that one's okay, and that one, we need to go to the top book there. And then maybe we'll just duplicate this slide again and add it to the end. Okay, right. Now then what we're going to do is we're going to go to match and move. And 
to make it a little bit slower, eight seconds. And then we are going to apply between all pages. Right. Oh, and we probably need the pages to be a bit shorter too. So. back to the beginning and see what that looks like okay and then what you do is you go to each of these zoomed in ones and then you put in some box text boxes so in true blue beta style, here's one I made earlier. So the slides are, as before, that one, that one with text, that one with text, that one with text, and then a slightly longer one at the end where you've got, got the first image back again. And what it looks like when you play is that. So it looks like you're zooming in and out of the same image. We go. And what I did for the text is I did the text and then I went to effects. I went to effects and picked succession, which is quite a nice, it's a new one. It sort of expands and comes into focus at the same time. And I did animate on entry and exit. So that's how you make a zoom and pan video in Canva. If you found this video useful, please tell all your friends and there's loads more useful videos on the channel. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time.